What is wrong guys? Nonstop here and this is another Ground War Domination gameplay and it is on Underground. And in this game I go 73 and 1 and I get a double mob as well, so uh pretty darn good game if you ask me. Um I do play a little bit uh a little bit tentative, a little bit uh I guess you could say I don't want to say campy, but I guess I'll get back to that later in the commentary. But in this game I was using the MP7. I think like I said in the last commentary that I've been I guess loving the MP7. It's a really good gun in my opinion. Um, I guess, I guess you could say it's my new favorite gun. I seem, seems, seems like to me, I, I just find a new favorite gun every, every week or something, every week and a half. Because at first it was the, I think it was the ACR, and then it was, uh, the SCAR, and then it was like the P90, and now it's the MP7, so who knows. Maybe I'll find a new gun that I fall in love with, and I get just a bunch of gameplays with it, because, um, seems like I have quite a few of the MP7 right now, so I hope you guys don't mind, uh, seeing some more of it. I, I do like seeing MP7 gameplay, it's really really fun to watch um you can pretty much rush with it it's such a good gun i think i mentioned this in the last commentary so maybe i shouldn't cover it again but uh my setup with mp7 in this gameplay was the uh extended mags and silencer so two attachments um also what is also real good is rapid fire silencer so I'm not too sure why i'm not using that in this gameplay but i do like having extended mags because when i guess get into a situation where i need to i guess take down maybe four or five guys and not reload. Um, that's where extended mags kind of helps me out a little bit, but that, 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 those situations don't really come up too often. So maybe rapid fire might be a better, better choice. So maybe, maybe in the future I might be using rapid fire more uh, for my specialist at least. That way, when I get scavenger, I can just reload. And right there, I almost died from a guy with dead man's hand. That actually happened another time in this uh, game. So I got pretty lucky. At, at two times in this game, I figured I was. Uh, I was really close to a guy with dead man's hand. It might have been because I had specialist down and I had the blast shield, but it seems like it seemed like seemed to me at least I was I was definitely in the in the death zone, the the whatever the 20 foot mini nuke death zone that the dead man's hand I guess dishes out. But um, I guess I was pretty lucky in this game. I guess you'd say maybe the Call of Duty gods uh, gave me their blessing and allowed me to get a good gameplay. <laughs> um, because definitely with, those, with the two dead, dead man's hand that deaths, that would have been definitely been a different gameplay in my opinion. But uh, in this game, I was using specialist as you should have already noticed, and it's the same specialist setup as I was using in my 80 and 3, uh, 62 gun streak game, which is uh, using steady aim, uh, quick draw, and then scavenger. Um, pretty, 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 si pretty similar, um, or pretty, pretty basic. I guess I could say similar. Of course, it's the same one. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so pretty pretty basic uh, specialist setup. Not nothing too too fancy. Um, I I don't like having uh, what is it or picking up uh, maybe sit rep or dead silence. That's also a good way to go if you have a headset. But for whatever reason, I like having steady aim and uh, quick draw. That way I can just win go gunfights outright, and I don't really need to sound horror too much. But um, right there, I died from uh, died well after I called in my Moab. It seems like it happens to me a lot when I get into a gunfight as a Maybe it's the Moab's dropping in or something when the game slows down. I don't know if that I don't know if that just messes up my aim or something, or I don't know my gun gets all funky. But I guess I'm kind of a conspiracy theorist, and I think uh, for whatever reason I have this thing in my head where I think when like as, as someone's about to die, like maybe that that guy who killed me um, while I was calling the Moab, that that they do more damage for whatever reason. Because whenever I look in the kill cam after someone, um, like maybe my maybe my teammates are shooting. An enemy or something while I'm shooting him and he's shooting me. Um, seems like he, that guy will deal extra damage, or at least it seems like I took less damage than I should have um, as I died. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy like that. I'm one of those Call of Duty conspiracy theorists. <laughs> just coming up with these random things that are probably are not true at all. I think in, what was it, in Black Ops, I think people would say that, uh, I don't know if you're like one away from a blackbird, your gun did less damage or something, or you, or you had less health, or I don't know, just crazy stuff like that. Maybe I'm maybe I'm going down that path where I'll start uh, just coming up th with this with the crazy things to say. But uh, yeah, so I'm on my ne my next uh, I guess Moab Moab run, and pretty much in this game, I don't want to say I was camping, but uh, for the lack of a better term, I was. I was pretty much just patrolling the same area uh, by A flag. Just pretty much uh, watching the underground area and then the building next to A flag. 
and just kind of running a big lap around that, just taking out people the best they could, not really trying to play too aggressive, trying to play a little bit smart. I was I was playing, uh, I guess, to try and get the next Moab because I hadn't gotten a double Moab before this gameplay, so I thought it would have been pretty cool to say, so I didn't really want to take too many risks, I guess, not try and go for, I guess, double and or quad feed and triple feeds because obviously those are a little, little bit dangerous in my opinion, so I just... I just figured I'll, I'll play a little safe, you know, play, play smart, play my game, and it, it all worked out for the best for me. But uh, right there was the next, my next lucky little incident with the um, mini nuke of Dead Man's Hand. I think, I think on that one I got a little lucky because I was kind of on the corner of a, the corner of the bus there, so I think that kind of absorbed most of the damage. So I guess in this game I was rather lucky with those two Dead Man's Hands. So. Definitely, definitely some some person at Infinity Ward or something was looking out for me because they definitely gave me some, I guess, nice, nice luck or something. Nice, got a nice draw in this game. But uh, yeah, so in this game, I just I was running around in the same area. I think I think maybe why I would define this as more of a campy game or me camping, just patrolling a big circular area, was because uh, I think I don't think the enemy team took the C flag too much or. I think I think they were held up at the A flag for most of the game, so that's kind of where uh, you see me just running around in that same area. Because if they definitely had the C flag, I would definitely have to move and uh, patrol some sort of other area. But for whatever reason, it just worked out for me that I could just patrol that one area around uh, A flag, which is definitely the way to go. If you can get the enemy at A, definitely do because that is just a terrible spot to be in when you're over at A on underground, in my opinion. And you can definitely get some pretty darn good games, in my opinion, if you just if you just patrol it like I am right here, just locking down your own area. Um, this is pretty. This was the death zone. I would. I could just. I, I guess I could just say because if they if they came in my zone, they 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 were done. They were done. Um, but I call my next Moab there, and pretty much for most of the, most of the rest of this game, I just tried to. Uh, I try. I tried to just stay alive and not die. I know that's probably not the best uh, mentality to have while you're playing Call of Duty. Is just. Uh, to not die, but I, I wanted to have a game where I uh, only died one time and got the double Moab. I thought that'd be cool to say that I got whatever X amount of kills that I would end up with, and then the one death, um, getting a double Moab because that's definitely the definitely the best you can, best you can do. Um, only dying once and getting a double Moab is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. You can definitely do better if you get more kills than me and you get a double Moab. But uh, yeah, so pretty much I just try and stay alive for the rest of this gameplay and. One thing I wanted to ask you guys, I wanted some of your feedback on um, on this commentary since the gameplay is pretty much pretty basic towards the end is I need some music before I go back to college because I am like running very low on the Muzaks and I guess before I uh, ask for your suggestions I guess I should tell you what my music tastes are but I like listening to pretty much uh, rock and um, kind of metal, metalcore music um, that's more of more my cup of tea, but uh, I guess some of my favorite bands would have to be Avenged Sevenfold, uh, Bullet for My Valentine, Kill Switch Engaged. Um, what else do we have here? Five Finger Death Punch is good as well. Uh, some some other I I really I know most of, like the mainstream bands or, like the or the bigger ones, Disturbed, Escape the Fate. Uh, so if if you if you know some like I guess more. Uh, I guess non-mainstream bands or not not the I guess the bigger ones. I definitely definitely like to know them so I can maybe check them out and download them if I like them because I definitely need some more music because I'm cause I've just basically been listening to the same music for the past uh, I guess a few months so it kind of gets gets a little boring. So if you guys could uh, put post some uh, what is it metal or metalcore or hard rock songs or bands in the comments that would be very very, I'd be very, very grateful because I do need some new ones to listen to. But uh, that was the game right there, 73-1 and one on Underground with a double Moab. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.